So we thought we would like to show you, since you've been talking about what you do, to show you what we do in mediation. And so we have four actors who are going to act. And the mediators are sitting in a separate room. We have a lot more mediators today than we do clients, plaintiffs and defendants who are coming. But the mediators are on this side. And that's because one time the mediator said to me, we're all gathered together in the same room waiting for the cases. And there are frequent flyers, as you well know, in the courts. And we get to know the frequent flyers. And even though we may be talking only about Michigan football, it looks to the defendant like we mediators have a, a relationship with this person. And that's not fair. So we separated now, we've separated them out, and we always have a separate room that the mediators go to first. And so I'm going to give the mediators a case, um, and we're going to, um, and Miles or I would play this role in the thing. Both people are here, and so I'm going to give them a case, and you all have a copy of what the mediators are getting. So Craig, um, this case is going to be for you okay. and for Marty. So will you? Okay, what room are we in? Um, you're in this room. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, is it unlocked? <laughs> this time, I did remember to check it, and it is unlocked. <laughs> this is just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> we decided we'd set it up like real life. Yeah. Here's the file. Yep. And not every room is particularly suited to mediation, but you're going to be in this room this time, it's not bad. <laughs> Same size. How are you going to set it up? Like this sort of thing. Okay. <laughs> but that's the progression, right? Except that they're all different. Yeah. yeah. How was our party yesterday? Okay. I was in the ER from the night before, so I didn't put any of that in the thing. I just went, yeah. I have to go for a stress test. Oh, good. 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 Oh, I'm good. Okay. I'm not a worry. I'm going to move on. I just want to see you. Okay. So I'm still on that. I wanted to do that. You couldn't start to speak. I was just in my mind. I was just in my mind. I was just in my mind. Wow. Yeah. Good. 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 Joanna brought pizza. So there were, you know, was eight. More strawberries was not there. Alan was not there. Alan had been bitten by a dog. He was white hands or something. Yes. So I see what we have here is standard normal. Personal loan, uh, $1,100 was not paid back. It says the attachment, but as usual, there's, they don't seem to see attachment. It is like real life. Okay, so we sit down, we look at the form that's given to us, and it usually tells us something that's almost worthless. Um, yeah, right. Personal loan, $1,100, and often in mediation we find out there's a lot more to it than yeah, for sure. 
So now we have to go over to the courtroom and collect our plaintiff and defendant. Well, before that, we actually take uh, out our paperwork. We sign in. Uh, we make sure that Craig has his opening statement prepared. We put the chairs where we'd like to have them. Sometimes we find after we start that the plaintiff and the defendant don't really want to be next to each other. They don't want to be close. So we kind of separate them and we make sure that happens. Then we go out and we collect our parties. Um, I always like to bring a calendar, especially when we have cases like the one we have today. It's a lot easier than, than you mentioned going to somebody's phone. I don't like to do that. And I also like to bring a, a calculator so we all can see. And you, can you talk about if there are other people in the hallway who want to come in? Oh, we we'll got that there. covered. You got your covered. We got that covered. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so ready? Okay. So, so we're in the courtroom or wherever they're waiting and say, looking for Ryan Reynolds and Susan Miller. Uh, she's not named on here. Uh, and my wife wanted to come today, and I was told I couldn't bring her, so she can't come either. And if it's some point during the mediation, if you want to come and consult with her, that's fine. Or if we meet her in at some other point, we'll come up and get her. Okay? Okay, so I'm Marty. Uh, and you are Ryan. Is it okay to call you Ryan? Um, Mr. Reynolds, please. Mr. Reynolds. <laughs> 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 Okay, thank you for coming today. Uh, I don't know if either of you have ever been through mediation before. Uh, but the basic idea is we are here, we're not lawyers, we're not judges, we're not here to tell you what to do, we're here to help you have a discussion and hopefully find a way to come to an agreement. Uh, the nice thing about mediation is while we're here, it's in your hands, the outcome is up to you. If you don't come to an agreement today, then you know, a couple weeks or whenever it's scheduled, you go before the magistrate, then it's in their hands. Here, you're in control. There, you get to tell your story, and it's totally up to them. Here, you can also be a little more creative. It doesn't have to be just about money. I don't, I guess it looks like that's what your case is about, but. What do you mean about you can be creative? <laughs> I want to get to the truth. <laughs> the truth is good. Yes, that's what we're, that's what we're going for. But I mean, creative in terms of if sometimes somebody is skilled at something like painting houses and that the other person needs their house painted and they work out something with that rather than exchange of money directly. So I just keep that in mind if anything like that comes up. Uh, what else? The idea is you'll each get to talk, and, but it's important that when you're not talking, the other person, when, you are t when you're not talking, you listen carefully because often people end up here because of not sufficient communication, right? Um, and ask that you be civil with each other. Uh, not because, and it's not like in court, okay, in te television court, it's not about <laughs> winning over the other person, uh, fighting. Here, actually the nicer you are to the other person in mediation, the more likely you are to get what you want. Well, I want to win, I want to get paid. I understand that. Okay, um, I know she moved your chair back. Are you comfortable? Are you okay being in the same room with him? Yes. Okay. We were neighbors at one point. Okay. He was a very good friend to us. Was. Okay. Was. 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 okay. If at any time you feel uncomfortable, either of you, uh, and you'd like to have a caucus, which no. if one of you wants to go out and take a breath of fresh air, or... Yeah, we can talk to you individually right. if needed. That's fine. Um, so ideally, we'll brainstorm some possible ways to solve this that will work for both of you. Uh, actually, to be honest, in mediation, a lot of times what ends up working best is both people going away not totally happy. 
I hate to say that, but. I need to, I hate to hear it. Yeah, but, but the nice thing is, you don't have to come back. If you reach an agreement today, you're done. That's up to you two. So if you come to an agreement, we will write it down, you'll sign it, you'll both get copies. It's basically a contract between the two of you and as binding as any other contract. Uh, what, else? what goes on here is confidential. We might take notes during it, so just to keep track of what's going on, but we destroy those notes afterward. Can't be called into court if you ends up going to court. You can't say, "Oh, my mediator needs to be here to tell what happened." It's like you start fresh if you go to court. What else? Any time constraints for you today? Well, I don't want to be here all day. How long do you think this is going to take? It's totally up to you two. Uh, it could go quickly, or if you do the right thing, we'll be done instantly. <laughs> Jeez. Well, my daughter has to be at work at four, so yeah. okay. well, I certainly hope that. Yeah, it's resolved by the Okay. We'll do the best we can. Uh, I think that's a basic idea. Any questions on that? Okay. Okay. I'd also like to add, if you would like to take notes, you're more than welcome to. We have paper and pen here. So feel free to help yourself. Okay. So now Bonnie has a form to Okay, what here. I'm going to go over now is what we call a mediation consent form. You can read along if you like. By, by signing this form, you understand and agree that the purpose of mediation is to assist in settling disputes between parties. Each party agrees to participate in the mediation process in good faith. Mediation is voluntary except when ordered by a judge. Mediators are neutral facilitators. They do not take sides, judge who is right or wrong, tell people what to do, or provide legal advice. The parties do not give up their right to go to court or use other forms of dispute resolution if an agreement is not reached. Mediation is confidential. Mediators may not be called into court as witnesses. But if mediators hear about abuse, neglect, threats, or actions of bodily harm, they must report this information to the proper authorities. Mediation participants agree that information obtained in mediation will not be used in other legal proceedings. I will comply with any mediation agreement that results from this meeting. Any questions? I have a question. So, like, if we come to an agreement today and she defaults, why can't what we did here today go in front of the judge? Well, first, thank you for so much. On your history with me, yeah. Okay, I suggest now that we go through the mediation and see. There's no guarantee that we're going to reach an agreement. I'm hoping that we do, but let's see how things go first. I get that you're okay. concerned, and that's why you're here today, is because right. there have been issues, and yes. I hope we can help you resolve some of those. Okay, so are there any other questions about the consent form? Okay. I'm going to pass this around and ask that each person in the room signs that. I'd also like to add that if you have any electronic devices at this time, that you turn them off. Well, they shouldn't be able to get into the court with them. So. No, it's a township. Yeah, we know. It's a township. 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 We're working on that too. Oh, really? <laughs> Security, you mean? That's a really good thing. Well, I'm very so angry me, to yeah. have to be here today because we, sh we, we, we should have been able to settle this without having me take time out of my busy schedule to come to mediation. Right. That's not often why people end up here. I'm sorry it had to work out this way, but this is your chance to make it work. So the so way we do this, the plaintiff, that would be you, get to tell you, 
tell us what's going on, what this is all about, since, like I said, all we get is a one-line description. And then I ask you to listen, and then you'll get your chance, and then we'll do as much dialogue as needed to see where we can go. Well, quite simply, I made the mistake of loaning her $1,100 over 18 months ago. And there's been no payment. And when I tried to contact her to see what's going on, it's crickets. No response at all. Can you share with us why? Wait, 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 wait. So you loaned this to her 18 months ago. Was there any written agreement or any kind? Unfortunately, it was not. No, I trusted her. She was my neighbor at that time, and I thought that she would uh, act in goodwill and pay it back. And she hasn't, and has made no effort, and has failed to be in communication with me. And it really breaks my heart that uh, um, I had to do this, but you know, I need to get paid. Okay, so you've reached out to her since Absolutely. then? Absolutely. When was the last time? Oh, I started when? Would you, what would you say? Well, wait, we would like to hear from you first. Well, I think that I, there was an understanding mm -hmm. that once she dealt with some issues, she would start to make a payment. And I thought that would be done within a reasonable time. And when there was no reasonable time, I started to contact her, like, was it 18, uh, five months ago or six months ago? I'm, I'm not sure because you loaned us the money when my husband was in the hospital and we needed just something to tide us over and we thought that was it. We were planning to pay you back right away. It turned out that things were not that simple. So when you say, how many times did you, I, it was very confusing. I was handling our family finances for the first time. And so when we get these bills that say second warning, I would pay those. There wouldn't be any money left over because he wasn't working. And, you know, I, get, I listened to your messages. And then after a while, you sounded very angry. And I was, I, am very angry. I was embarrassed, worried all the time. And at some point, I turned it off. So I can't say when you last called me because I, I blocked your calls. And I'm, I'm very sorry about that. OK. So I get that there was, you, you were, there was a lot of trust there before. I mean, there had to have been for you to just. And it's been completely broken. I get broken. Right. And I get that you in totally intended to pay this back quickly. And so you had good intentions to that. And then things didn't go the way you had hoped with your finances. Right. I mean, basically, my husband hasn't been able to go back to work. I've had to cut back my the time I spend at work, so it's it's just been very difficult. So my daughter has come to live with us, which has helped because I can go back to work full time and we share taking care of my husband. And she's been showing me a little bit about what I need to do to, to pay bills. We've made a schedule, you know, I'm beginning to get a sense of what to do with the finances. Good. And certainly paying you back is, we feel is, is a moral obligation, and I feel terrible that there's been this breach of trust. So I want to figure out, hopefully here, where, what can we do? And I, I also mean that, what can we, I do? Because I can't write <coughs> a check for the full amount. That's not possible. Okay. So are you hearing what she's saying about she fully intends to pay you and she's getting things in order? Well, I don't know. I don't know what to believe after this period of time. And like I said earlier, it has taken us to come to mediation to try to figure this out when you could have just communicated with me. You could have made a call. You could have done something. And you did nothing. Often it what happens. Was, we were, felt like we were just drowning for a while. But what about me? What, what do you think about what situation that put me in? 
trusting to give you that kind of money True. and we you just totally thinking, we were not thinking about anything but what needed to happen in the moment in the situation and not about <coughs> but some kind of gesture of goodwill if you couldn't call, you couldn't text, you couldn't just write a note, you couldn't I, do anything with that broke down. Really sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay. So, so could I ask you a question in private? Should that be okay? Sure. Why don't we take a call? Because now we'll ask you to step out and we'll speak to Susan and then we'll bring you back in and ask Susan to, to What's the caucus? Just means we can talk to you individually. So just you and two of us, and we do it with each of you, and sometimes we can help move things along a little better that way. Okay. So how long, how long do you think this is going to take to, to do that? Whatever amount of time we spend with her, we will spend the same amount of time with you. Okay? okay. So if you would step out for just a moment, please. I can stay. Stay right there. Stay. You have a seat right out here. We'll be right back with you. Susan, you wanted to speak to us? Well, my daughter said that it might be possible to have some kind of payment plan because we can't possibly come up with $1,100 and borrowing it and having interest build up, that, that isn't going to work either. But is it possible to ask for a payment plan? Is that something that I can do? It certainly can be arranged if, if uh, Mr. Ryan, Mr. Reynolds, mm -hmm. is open to it. Uh, sure. What did you have in mind? About like hundred dollars a month, so we paid off in a year or less. Dollars a month. And that's something you feel comfortable that you could do. Yes, we. My daughter walked through it with me, and yes, we feel comfortable. Okay. Can you offer him anything today, a payment today? Probably the first. I would have to go get it from her, but yeah, we would have the first. Okay. Okay. Sometimes that okay. helps okay. build a, you know, at least the first bit of trust. He'd be willing to, or willing to agree to it. Okay, so you, you would like to offer him the hundred dollars a month paid in one year and a hundred dollars down today. Yeah. Are you, so, would you like to propose that to him yourself or would you like, rather we tell him that? Actually, I'd rather you did it. Okay. Okay. That's fine. So okay. can I? Yeah. Well, Any, is there anything else that you would like to, to tell us? If, if somehow you could get him to understand how difficult things were, have been, we'd really appreciate it. Um, and that I'm really sorry that it's come to that, that he's had to reserve, reserve to the courts. Okay. What was, just mm -hmm. curiosity, mm -hmm. your connection with him, it sounds like you were pretty good friends before all this came up. They were, he and his wife were our neighbors. Um, we sometimes babysat for their kids. Okay. Um, he and my husband were pretty close. So, yeah, there was a lot of back and forth because I'm sort of grandmother age for, for his kids. So, um, yeah, yeah I, it's I, quite I hate to see that all lost. Yes. So, yes, so like would I. Um, I want to ask you one other question, too. Mm -hmm. You said $100 a month. What day of the month would you, or what date of the month would you be able to pay? Well, it's best if, if it disappears quickly. So I would say, so. <laughs> you know, if I get paid on, and it's in our bank account on the first, paying him immediately afterwards would be the best alternative. So it just, it somehow it goes right away, and we don't even see it. Okay, so maybe the second of each month? Sure. Okay. So we can present this to him. Okay, so if you step outside, and we'll bring him back in. Thank you for your patience.
So let me so just say this, this. Yeah. is that they're, they're kind of shady, which my neighbor. Okay. There's a lot going on over there next door. So in addition to this whole business of the money that I made the mistake of loaning them, there's other issues that put this whole trust thing in jeopardy in terms of me being able to comfortably move forward in doing something. Okay, is there something more you want to share with us about that? Well, I don't, you know, it would be pretty derogatory, and I don't want to do that to her. Okay. okay, so let's just, let's stick with uh, $1,100 today, which is the reason that we're here. Right. So what I, what we got from talking to her is that there was, I mean, it sounds like you all were fairly close before babysitting and mm -hmm. did things with her husband, uh, and I get that you have issues going on since then, uh, but we need to, some degree of trust. Oh, actually, what she's suggesting, she feels really bad about the situation that she found, her, found herself in and not being able to pay you back and then the not communicating, that's, she feels very bad about that. Okay, she should. Okay. She because does. after 18 months, I want to call that loan due. Right. And, her and that's why I'm here. Yeah, I get that. That's why we're here. So, she wants to pay you back. Her financial situation, you might have gotten the idea, has been pretty precarious lately, which is why this is happening. Uh, she was wondering if there's any way you could take a payment plan, uh, at basically $100 a month. $100 so, a month. So have it paid off in 11 months. I can, she's willing to start that today. Well, the first did she tell you about that daughter? That daughter is, does have an income that could help her pay back this loan. Wait a minute, this let's loan. See, Mr. Reynolds, let him finish on what um, she's offered today. I know, but I want to ask that question. Because I, I know that daughter has uh, funds that are coming in to help them out. So it's just not dependent upon her and that husband of hers. Okay. We didn't get into that with her. Uh, you're welcome to ask her, or if you would like us to ask her. And oh, I can ask her. I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh, so, depending on the, her answer to that, is there any possibility that you'd be open to you know, stretching it out over some months? <laughs> Which you, you did not get a chance to add that she would like to make the first payment today. How oh, much? A hundred dollars, and then a hundred dollars uh, each month payable within the year well, on the second. So we're talking about another eleven months before I, I mm -hmm. get all my money. Mm -hmm. That's what you're asking. Ten more months, basically. Okay. You're a hundred dollars today. Payable on the second of each month. Well, here's the thing. I've done my research and I, I, I do know that in terms of um, an agreement, one thing that is available to me is a consent agreement. So if she defaults, then I can take it to another level. Right, well either way you can bring it back and it's a contract either way. The, like you say, the consent agreement keeps the case open in the court mm -hmm. and... I definitely would want that okay. to protect my interest. You realize there are other aspects to it that she might be not be that happy with that it affects her credit rating. You don't care about that. It looks I like. don't. Okay. That's if the agreement is not reached. Well, no, it would be a consent agreement. Mm -hmm. So it would those affect are her. It would affect her credit report if she does not pay it. Oh, well, even if she does, it's still active as right. money she owes during that whole time. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's the only way I would look at trying to resolve this. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So, so we're going to ask that you step out for one second, give us a, okay. a minute or two, and then we'll bring okay. both of you back in. Okay. Thank you. So, what? Sam. Go to the talk. Okay, to the jail. So, um, Alicia has to leave because she's doing the arrangements.
so. Can we hear you critique us completely? Um, I don't have a critique. It sounds like a hard thing to do, and I'm glad it's you and the name. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we get to clean up your mess. <laughs> <laughs> you're like being a mess. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank taking you for coming here today. today. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. why we're not floundering, why we're not underwater right now. Um, so yes, she's both bringing income into the house because she's living with us, and <coughs> she's helping to take care of my husband so that I can go back to work full time. Okay. Did you want me to say how much she earns? I mean, what, no, what do you want from me? No, that's not necessary. Perhaps not. Because <laughs> if, if I'm a consent to some kind of payment plan, I would like to have some kind of idea about your income. Is there any way we can pay you so it's independent of divulging our finances in detail? Well, I'm not asking for because to be, I'm not asking her to be part of the settlement, the agreement. I just want to have some kind of idea about what kind of income you have to be assured that you're going to be able to pay back this loan. Because now, what you're asking for, from what I understand from them, is for me to go another 10 months after 18 months of non-payment at all. If that's too long, what would work for you? Mr. Reynolds. Well, I, I don't want it to be a hardship on you because I, I do know that you're a good person. But I just want some assurance that you're going to follow through with what you're telling me because I don't want to go through this again of having to go back to court and trying to figure it out. If you say you're going to do something, I want you to do it this time. Do you okay. have any yes, ideas sir. about how to nail this down so he feels more well, comfortable? Well, I'd ask for a consent my... agreement, and maybe they can explain to you how that works. Okay. Basically, there's one of the types of agreements that we can write up with you today. is called a consent judgment. It, you agree to paying a certain amount per month for how many months, and then you both sign it. Uh, the magistrate signs it, it stays as an active case in the court system, and then if you fail to pay, according to that agreement at any point, then Mr. Reynolds can bring it back to the court, and it automatically goes to the magistrate. Uh, and the one thing you should know about is, since it's kept active in the court system as a debt that you're paying, uh, credit agencies sometimes look over those records, and so it could have an impact on your credit rating. But uh, that's it. This <laughs> so you don't care about the credit rating at all. I'm yet just you saying want me that to we've had we've it had on to you. Okay. True. True. So then I pay him back. Everything is good. What happens? Is this and then the case is dissolved, closed. goes away, dissolved. or okay. once he receives the last payment. Yeah, I think there might be some paperwork you have to fill out saying yes, the, the money is totally paid off. And okay, so at some point I have to trust him. Can you at least say that your credit is important to you if you want me to? Do a plan with my you for 10 months. friendship with you is important. Well, my credit how with I you is important. How I feel about DTE, how I feel about other things, it's less important than my relationship with you going forward. 
even if there isn't one, knowing that I'm back in your good graces is what comes to me. And how you do that is by following through what you are saying you're going to do. Yes. And at that least, can you, can you at least say that your credit is important to you? That would make me feel so much yes. better yes. to become a one well, of, another one of your thing, debtors, which I've been for 18 months now. Okay. The other thing that I agree is that I need, I need to call you. If there's any kind of issue, if there's any kind of hiccup a day, I will call you. And that, can that be part of our... So thing? we're about running out of time, <laughs> so let's wrap this up. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what I'm hearing is, you're going to do monthly payments if we do it with a con consent judgment. Yeah, I will, I will, under duress, do it. Well, I don't want you to feel duress about this. This is just a, want a solution that can work. And so, you have, you said you could pay him $100 today, right? Yes, I have to go get it from, is that okay? I yeah, can, I'll just go yeah. right out and right that. Okay, and so then you're going to write up the right. agreement. Right. 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 And the dismissal yeah. waiver. Okay, yeah. Five, She's giving you the $100. Um, they reached an agreement. Craig is writing up the small claims, they're the judgment. judgment. No in the meantime, they're doing a judgment. No dismissal. That's right. It's not the dismissal order. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. In the meantime, I'm writing up the small claims mediation agreement, and, and I'm not going to take the consent form instead. Yeah, okay. they don't need that. So yeah. the, the payments and yeah. payment plan. The judgment form. Mm -hmm. Actual judgment. And then someone says, I didn't get a judgment, and I said, yes, you did. Just pay the clip to the back so of the part. One quick thing, uh, mediators, that I'd like to do. Um, that would give me a little bit more of a comfort zone is have her make those payments through PayPal. That way I don't have to worry about if I'm going to get it in the mail, if I got to meet her someplace. Okay. She can just do that by a certain date. If you can consent to that. Are you familiar with PayPal? I know my daughter uses it. She buys things sometimes on okay. eBay. So okay, so you're comfortable. Show me how to do it. Okay. Yes. okay. So, so then you don't need the consent judgment. Oh yeah, I still yeah, want that. You still want that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But today is a. You can always go in and so yes, stop that payment for a particular month if you need. Oh, okay. so I actually, now I just owe him thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. So I have total is eleven hundred dollars. Okay. Hundred dollars today. Cash plus hundred dollars per month. Yeah. yeah. So we always, we always have a lot of violations for when they reach agreement with them. Okay. And oh, after um, he finishes filling this out, you will get copies of it. Thank you. Thank you. So I have a question that's actually relevant to this case. And that is, um, I know that sometimes the plaintiff doesn't fill out the certificate of satisfying judgments. Would it be helpful if we had these copies of this in our forms and gave it to the parties, one or the other, um, and encourage them to do it, either, to get, either give it to the defendant and have the plaintiff sign it? Probably would be the best thing. Which form is it? I, I, yeah, no. I would recommend that somebody pre-sign something. Not pre-sign. Yeah. Give them a blank form. Right, and then they can file it when they're ready. File it when they're ready. Yeah. yeah. And we can just make copies of this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. What so form is that? We don't know what form you're talking about. Well, you will. <laughs> <laughs> so, can we give that to the defendant and say, when you're done, have this to the plaintiff? No, we can we give it to the defendant and have the defendant send it to the plaintiff, or else get the plaintiff with the final payment and say, will you file this to the court? Because it's more important to the defendant that it be filed than it is to the plaintiff. Where are the payments? Sure. Okay. This would be when we I use mean, it. I I don't think it matters. It does. It's the either person. The right. plaintiff yeah. is the one that yeah. files. Both. It has to file. want the defendant to say, oh, they gave me this document, so no. I'm supposed to file it. No, no that's right. Because if we get it from them, we'll reject it. Yeah, right. Right. Okay, so, so we'll get Sally to get copies of this for you. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, it's not that fast. <laughs> no, not Unfortunately. That. <laughs> Here's a copy for each of you. Thank you. Okay. And I congratulate you, too, on making it through this and coming to an agreement. And 
sincerely hope that it all works out. Okay. Is there any chance that you can shake hands? What if I get completely friends? paid? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, we we should have better to the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Thank you. So Thank much. you. Good luck Thank to you both. So, any comments from the mediators oh, about how good to job. Yeah, I think I No, we could have had a better plaintiff. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like he was badgering her, and I didn't like that. <laughs> they never do that. Great acting. Mary can step in. I mean, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah. As, as the magistrate, I'll say, oh, yeah. all right, so what we're going to do now, if you have a question for the other side, you can say it to me, and I'll rephrase it so it's in a more neutral tone. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right. No, like that. Or I'll yeah, say, if you can't speak to each other nicely, then we're going to do this my way, and I'll ask all the questions, and Believe then nobody me, will do that. Yeah. <laughs> And I appreciate this is just a demonstration. Yeah, we so. want our good behavior to be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for remembering to turn the file with me.